Today I am at the Odin Island Nature Preserve. Another place I've never been, which is funny because I grew up maybe a thousand yards, not even a thousand yards, a thousand yards that way, off the island, on the mainland, right along the shores of Crooked Lake. That is where I grew up, and I've never been on this island. Save for one time, I was 14 and I rode a snowmobile across the lake and I ended up on the west side of the island. Really annoyed the homeowners over there. So there won't be any sunset photos here today because the west side of the island is all private residential homes and they really don't take too kindly to folks wandering about their areas. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you cross the bridge onto the island, you are immediately greeted with a private property sign telling you that this entire island is owned by the Odin Island Homeowners Association. And unless you're coming here to the nature preserve, you just aren't welcome. But anyway, I'm going to scout this area because I had such a good time at the Round Lake Nature Preserve that I'm just going to start making the rounds to all of the nature preserves in the area, and there are quite a few of them. So, and there are two other cars here in the, in the parking lot. One is a truck, one is a small sedan. I hope I don't happen across a hunter because this is still muzzle loading season in Northern Michigan. Right then. No gimbal today. You're just attached to my other tripod. So I apologize if the video is shaky and you become nauseated. few spots already I'm not even I'm not even 20 foot in uh, can you see that it's really kind of a wide shot to be able to see what I'm seeing here but right there that little bit right there with the tree up underneath it or above it glad I'm recording this I left my notebook at home. Well, I hear humans. Might be the other visitors to the preserve. Another dead tree. It was a little easier getting myself off the couch today than it was the other day after my experience at the Round Lake Preserve. I think these little nature walks are just going to become a part of my regular activities. I like it's this is this preserve is a lot more open than Round Lake. It's not as heavily wooded. Let's a lot more light in. So I think there'd be a lot more opportunities here, photographically speaking. I don't know. Can you hear those people behind me? That is one of the things I, I enjoyed about Round Lake was that I had to place all of my onesie because I do enjoy my solitude. Which is funny considering that I'm a married man with four children, three of them living at home, and the president of a motorcycle club. You'd think that I would really enjoy being around people, but I don't. I, not, I love being around my wife and children. Those aren't, those aren't just people, that's my family. 
but I do absolutely revel in my solitude. And my solitude is being is being destroyed. There's people coming up behind me with their dog. But this trail makes its way around to the northeast corner of the island and there's a point at the end of it. So that's that's my ultimate destination here. Humans. A little map here. So this is my ultimate destination here. We're parked here, so and again, it's not a huge preserve, but I want to make my way out to this point here because I have a feeling that's going to be a good spot for, for sunrise photos. Oh, hey, Puppers. What's up, buddy? Oh, good. Good. Come here. Not a biter, is he? No, he's no? very nice. <laughs> very high energy, though. Yeah, well, they tend to be with that breed. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Sorry, I just don't want to bother you. No, you guys are fine. I'm just filming for my stupid little YouTube channel. Oh, that's awesome. What's your channel? <laughs> What's that? What's your channel? Uh, it's just Tony Hograve, at Tony Hograve, my name. Oh, what puffers? Can I pet you? Can I pet you? You get Bruce on the YouTube channel? What's that? Can you get Bruce on the YouTube channel? Well, he already wandered his way in there once. <laughs> hey, puffers. <laughs> right, if you're going to go for it, we're going to split off here and just take them back and then... No, and, and go ahead and enjoy yourself. All right. Yeah, Appreciate I'm just, uh, I'm a, it's a photography yeah. channel, so I'm just, I'm just scouting this location. Yeah. yeah. No, it, absolutely enjoy it. you got as much right to it as I do. If you go straight back, <coughs> straight through, that little point is beautiful. That's, that's where I'm headed, actually. Yeah. I got my camera. I may not even take any photos today. I'm just scouting this out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. Wide open right there. Those folks distracted me from what I was doing and I just wandered into a spot. Look at that. Yeah. a lot going on you know and before I got into landscape photography I never really considered the land it was just a place to be it was a it was something to pass through from one spot to another but I'm just really getting off on being in the woods now. I used to be so bored with landscape photography that the only time I ever did it was when I had nothing else to photograph or in college and it was part of an assignment. Now I just get off on being in the woods by myself. whether I find something to photograph or not. Just being here is almost enough. Right here. Boy, if I can get to it. Right there there's a shot yep i do believe we'll be setting up a camera right here right now all right f16 30th of a second iso 125. that works i like that composition Maybe given this line 
Maybe she needs to be a vertical. Maybe she needs to be a vertical, and maybe she needs to be right about there. Yeah, I really like that. One of the things I've really been enjoying about landscape photography this go around is just wandering and finding the photographs. I know for a landscape photographer that's been doing this shit for years and years and years that, well, of course, that's what we all do. I've never done that. It's always been, I'm going to go photograph this particular thing at this location and that's it. I've never set out not knowing what I'm going to photograph. And that has been, it's been pretty fun for me. Like this, I didn't know that was here. I've never been here before. So I had no idea that was there. I don't have any idea about anything that's here. Which for me, being the control freak that I am, is really liberating. And just while sitting here filming this, I turned my head and not four feet that way is another composition very similar to this one, but with more chaos and more shadows. <laughs> I just, I'm happy as a pig in shit right now. All right, moving on. Getting real close to the point here. You see, I got water on either side, but I just want to walk you through this little stretch of the path here because it is just, it's so amazing to see. There's hardly any land here because there's water there and there's water there. All of these trees, all of this vegetation, everything is just so crowded on top of each other. It's, almost impossible to even walk through it. But this right here is what I wanted to show you. Let's get a wider shot of this. All these trees are pretty much fallen over, so you know their root systems are just pulled up and exposed on either side. This is just, this is cool. I'm gonna photograph fuck out of this. If I can get through it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I'm going to photograph the shit out of this. So that clump of trees right there is the end of the point. When I reconnoitered this place on the satellite map, I expected this point to be pretty barren of trees because that's what it looked like on the satellite map. And I was, the image that I had coming up in my head was pretty much of, you know, this, this field of, of grass here all the way out on the point. And I was thinking that would be a good sunrise photo, just this tiny little strip of, of grassland. And getting out here and seeing that there's trees all along the uh, leeward, all along the leeward side of, of the point, windward, all along the windward side of the point, makes that photo that I had in my head not a possibility. 
there was a point in time where that would have really pissed me off. But I came out here with a concept rather than a product in my head. So this is a lot easier for me to just roll with the changing situation. And rather than getting wrapped around the axle because I'm not getting precisely what I wanted, it's a lot easier for me to look at what I have and make something of it. Like right now, I'm looking, I'm looking at, my, at my phone here on the screen. That's amazing. That's a photograph right there. But if I was still stuck in my head about a final product that I wasn't getting, I would have never noticed this behind me. I just look at this. It's great. And I'm not cold. I am cold. Right? It's 28 degrees out here right now. But I'm not so wrapped up in my head about how uncomfortable I am. I'm just, I'm just enjoying where I am. It's pretty great. I'm just going to stand here and, and take this in for a few minutes before I dig my camera out of the bag. It took me a heart attack and nearly 50 years to be able to appreciate the simplicity of this. I did take a few photographs out on the point, but given the very personal nature of the moment I just had, I decided to keep them for myself. There we go. Oh, I might need an ultra wide angle to get him. Bear with me for a second while I make you nauseous. I don't know if I have a lens wide enough to do that. But I want it. I want that. And it's kind of got to be now because if I come back in the morning, the sun's going to be over there. This is going to be backlit. Yep, let's give it a shot. She doesn't look too bad on the back of the camera here. I just wish this tree and this tree weren't there, but as a trio, it's not terrible. Come back to our little ball of roots over here. And this is probably gonna be the last shot of the day. Um, just because we're running out of light, there's, it's only about 20 minutes before sunset. But uh, monkeying around with a couple of these shots made me think about how I've been approaching photography. When I was a portrait photographer, and I still am, I will always be a portrait photographer. But when I was running my studio, everything was about the dollar. I got to get this client. I got to get this client to buy a whole bunch of prints so I can heat my house and put food on my table. I'm in a different position now where I don't have to sell a single photograph. I love it when I do, but I don't have to. I have multiple income streams that pay my bills. I'm not rolling in fat wads of stinky cash, but my bills are paid and I'm comfortable. So I'm no longer looking at a scene and thinking, is this gonna go in my portfolio? Is this something I can make money off of? I like it, therefore it's good enough. And just while I'm, talking to the camera here, ooh, 
I'm looking right over here, just off frame. I'm thinking, hey, there's another one. Look at all that chaos. There's another picture I like. But anyway, let's let's get this wrapped up over here. There's our scene out in front of us there. And you know, the sky over there obviously is blown out because it's so dark in here, but boy, I like that. What's more important is I don't care if anybody else does. If you do, I'd love to hear about it. If you don't, I'd love to hear about that too, but I like that. I like that and that's just for me. Well, I think that is just about going to do it for today. <laughs> it's a tight path. Which is pretty good timing because the battery in my camera was just about cashed out. I had another one with me, but... And the battery in my phone is ringing in at about 4% right now. That is the downside of sub-freezing photography and videography. Is that the cold weather is a battery vampire. Which is just as well because the sun has just dipped down over the horizon over there. And it's going to get dark, dark, dark on this island in real short order. But anyway... Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And in my next video, I'm going to share some self-portraiture that I've done recently. And maybe give you a little greater context on my uh, mental well-being and some of the improvements I've made on it. See you soon.